Hey, what's up guys? I think you're in for a real treat today. We have a time lapse video. We have a review, a demonstration of a brand new filament from Ninja Tech. It's called Cheetah. It is flexible and strong and awesome. So check it out. This is Jim with Chicago Land Geeks, and today I'm going to be going through a little bit of a review with the product that I had the opportunity to try. It's called Cheetah, and it's made by Ninja Tech. It's a flexible polyurethane based filament, and I believe this one is a little more rigid than their um, Ninja Flex that they have available, which really helps me because I have a Bowden extruder. and. Um, as you can imagine, feeding a flexible filament up a tube and expecting it to create pressure and print isn't exactly the easiest thing on a boat and because you have a good, I don't know, two feet of tubing that you actually have to go through before you hit the nozzle. But um, this is the first round of beta testing and as far as I can tell, this stuff is actually pretty awesome. The print quality is great. Um, the flexibility is cool. It's super strong. Very easy to print with doesn't require any kind of adhesion it just prints to a cold glass plate not a problem at all so basically the first thing I did when I got the filament is I went ahead and started um, figuring out what temperatures it likes to print at they gave a suggested range of anywhere between 220C and 235C for the extruder so I just decided to go through and print the three circles calibration I don't know if you can see those um, but I just went through at different intervals on the temperature every two degrees or so and just compared them. I probably did. I did 234. I started at 234 Celsius and went down two degrees and just kept doing that until I found out which one was the best. And surprisingly, the lowest temperature seemed to be the best. 220C seemed to be about perfect for the quality. Um, I guess one of the other benefits of this material besides being flexible and strong and printing nice is as its name suggests you can print pretty fast with it. Um, I know Ninja Flex you had to print a lot slower to get any kind of decent results but with this stuff I was having great success printing at 55 millimeters a second consistently. Um, you know I didn't see any degradation until after that point which is you know really fast compared to what I normally print at with PLA I would say 55 millimeters a second is pretty fast for my machine. Um, I don't know, other people might have more success. I've heard people can go up to 70C, but I guess it really depends on what, what you're using. So here's an example of some of the objects I printed. Earlier in the video you noticed um, the octopus time lapse. I threw that in there. And here it is. It's great quality. And here is the flexibility I was talking about. See, so you can take one of these arms here and really just crank on it. You know, really pull on it and just bend it any which way you want. And it goes right back to the way it was. Um, I mean, this stuff is super strong. I tried printing at lower temperatures to test the layer adhesion just to see if I could, you know, pull any of the layers apart just you know not running hot enough they could be separated pretty easily and with this filament I have not run into that issue at all 
the stuff is super strong. I cannot break it. I've tried to break it. I've printed some thin wall vase type things and tried to pull them apart, and I just cannot do it. This stuff is super, super, super strong. I can't stress it enough. It really is a super nice filament. Um, but I believe we are doing some more beta testing on a product. I think there's another round going out, but so far around one with what they've given me, it's been really good. This stuff is really, really nice. Here's another little butterfly I printed. Here's an example of the flexibility. You know, it's, I mean, it's really strong. And if you crank on it, you're not going to change the shape at all by bending it too far one way. It just always goes right back to where you set it. Uh, another example is I put in a little spider web just to kind of show some kind of flexibility. I figured this was the easiest way to really, you know, crank on it and try to rip it. I, I'm using all my weight on that right now. Ugh. And it goes right back to normal. And I have three kids. I consider myself to have some, what we call dad strength, you know. I don't look like much, but I don't know strong enough and I mean I'm really wrenching on this and it goes right back to normal so this stuff is pretty incredible so I just want to give you guys a sneak preview at this cheetah filament I think it's really cool I like where Ninja Tech is going with this so hopefully I'll be a part of beta testing round two and if I am I'll make sure to create another video but I just want to give you that little sneak peek and show you show you the new product they have coming out soon. I believe they just announced it at CES. So, who knows? Who knows when it's going to come out? But, really looking forward to it when it does because the stuff is really nice. It looks like they have some nice colors coming out for it too. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. Leave some comments if you have some questions about the material. And stay tuned for the other videos we have coming out because we will be giving away some of our models that we're printing as part of a little contest we're going to be holding. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.